hello friends this is arun and uh, welcome in my youtube channel of uh, lightroom and photoshop uh, today i will teach you how to edit a landscape image uh, that image you can see on the screen that is clicked by me recently and i have added this image in the lightroom uh, it is a big challenge for everyone to edit a image uh, those uh, those are having sunset and uh, sunrise uh, in which uh, in this type of image uh, mostly the shadows and the uh, highlights uh, maybe you cannot control using the camera if you don't have the uh, grad filter so uh, this type of photography or this type of image can be uh, added in the lightroom and uh, i can choose i can show you the before image uh, that is the original image uh, that i have taken with the canon 600d and uh, uh, I have added this image in the Lightroom. Uh, this is uh, after after applying the uh, grad filter uh, Lightroom adjustment on this image. I have got this result, and uh, this is before, this is after, this is before, and this is after. So, see how I added this image. So, friends, uh, sometimes it is very difficult to. Uh, it is very difficult to choose that uh, from where to start uh, to edit image so I will start from the camera calibration uh, that is the uh, very good choice to edit image starting point you can say so I have choose this uh, land camera landscape in camera landscape it enhances the uh, saturation uh, as per the landscape need so then uh, I want uh, temperature as it is as per by short or uh, now I want some contrast so I will add about 15 contrast and uh, this area is uh, blown out so I will control these highlights minus 100 I want and uh, shadows uh, this area is underexposed and uh, I want to increase uh, the shadows plus 67 then uh, whites I want as it is and uh, black minus 5 to increase uh, contrast in image uh, minus 5 is sufficient and uh, clarity I want uh, plus 10 or 12 you can see and, uh, uh, this area is uh, uh, now underexposed uh, so, uh, this is uh, green part in this image green grass so I will increase the luminosity of uh, green color by 42 can see the difference so I will increase up to 44 so I will little bit uh, for increase this saturation of this green part 47 around I need so sharpening I want plus 42 increase the detail mask little bit highlights so, uh, uh, this effect color period I will choose then uh, vignetting effect around this image so friends uh, after applying these settings I have achieved around 80% result and uh, uh, these are just minor settings not uh, and, uh, too much settings I have used uh, you can see I, I have just controlled the highlight shaders and increase the contrast and add the light only so it is the time to add uh, some grad filter uh, the reason uh, to put the grad filter in this image uh, in this area I want to increase contrast and some uh, control the exposure and uh, increase some little bit of saturation so I will choose this grad filter uh, uh, 
to reset these settings click on alt and uh, click alt from keyboard and uh, it, this button will uh, convert into reset and otherwise it is effect and if you press this uh, alt key then uh, click on this reset and all value will reset suppose i have choose these settings mm, this one so this is the easiest method to uh, reset all these values uh, press alt from the keyboard then click the reset button all values all values will reset so for the upper portion i want uh, uh, i want to control uh, um, exposure and contrast i want to increase contrast in this area so i will increase the value of contrast by 30 and uh, clarity I want uh, in this area because of the clouds uh, uh, more clarity that is uh, 68 and a uh, little bit of uh, saturation plus 10 you can say so I will apply this uh, grad filter around uh, this area only uh, not to the uh, bottom part uh, start from this and drag to this part so you can see the huge difference uh, by this you can see this is before uh, this is without grad filter and uh, this effect is with grad filter so click on done I have achieved the result in the upper portion so this time friends uh, I will put grad filter in the lower part of this image uh, I want some clarity as well as uh, uh, some light in this area so I will choose grad filter mm, especially I will reset all these values so I want uh, exposure high uh, I want some light so I will, I will increase the uh, um, exposure 20 and uh, I want uh, this uh, this flower is uh, purely white and uh, in the image actually uh, this flower was uh, pure white and in this image it is it is not like uh, a pure white so I will increase the highlights for especially for this uh, flower uh, uh, clarity I want uh, around uh, you can say 39 so I will apply this image uh, I will apply this uh, grad filter from here to this part so drag the mouse So this is the result after applying the grad filter uh, in the upper part and the lower part. So you can see the huge difference in the image uh, after uh, just by minor adjustment in this image. So further I want some vignetting, uh, uh, vignetting I want more. Okay, this is sufficient so I will choose now this brush tool then I will reset all these values uh, I want some light in this area on the lower part of this image plus 10 around uh, then I will increase the, uh, this make sure uh, you have unmarked this uh, auto mask I will give you a special tutorial on this auto mask this is a very very special tool and you can use a very you can see the very uh, advanced tool the auto mask so i will give you another tutorial for especially for this auto mask uh, for this image uh, make sure uh, you have choose this uh, un uh, unmark for auto mask so i will add light Uh, this red portion you can see this is already a indication of mask uh, you can press 
uh, O from keyboard and the, it will uh, hide I have done click on done so friends uh, I hope uh, you have liked this tutorial very much uh, so in this way you can edit your sunrise and uh, sunset images uh, uh, you can follow me on the Facebook, YouTube. Uh, you can send me a message if you uh, want any inquiry for uh, for any further uh, for any particular image if you want. So thank you, friend, for for watching this video.